Hey, welcome to this uh, radio channel and um, this is kind of a first part where we're going to talk about um, a very surprising little device called the Ephedri, A-F-E-D-R-I, uh, SDR, it's a software defined radio. So this is a radio. You know, I get all the time these posts of, well, this is not a radio, it works with computers. No, this is not internet radio or this is really a radio. The only thing that it needs is because it doesn't have, you know, frequency uh, display, it doesn't have anything. It needs something to control it and it needs something to display the information and it's a computer. So it's a software defined radio. So, you know, this wire in the back here is plugged in to my 22 meter sloper antenna in the backyard. And here in the front, I've got a Ethernet cable that sends the information to my router and shares it on my own network. And this cable here is a uh, mini USB cable. The only thing it is, is that it's plugged to that little white block right here that provides it with power so that it works. So basically right now it is working and one of the things that you can see that it's working is look at this little uh, yellow light here that's kind of on all the time. It's right now sending data to uh, my PC that is in the living room through uh, my own network. PC in the living room is on Wi-Fi. So this is a 100 kilohertz to 35 megahertz receiver. It's a um, really a general coverage receiver goes up to 35 in all modes AM, FM, um, AM wide, FM wide, anything anything you can think of because it's, it's like tweak you can tweak it as you wish because it's a very very flexible device. It can plug in through USB to a PC but you know the this this device has been really um, Taught about and it's, it's it's been designed to use the network, so you can plug it to the network directly to a uh, network card on your PC. Um, most computers today do not need a cable that has kind of a crossover or a a reverse, you know, receive transmit. Pretty much every computer can detect where's the receive and send today in the Ethernet uh, jack. So. Uh, you don't need anything special. You can plug it directly or in my case it's plugged on my uh, router and my router is sending all the information. So um, it is a very sensitive receiver. It is a very good receiver. It's very surprising. Uh, if you want to eliminate the noise even more, uh, you know what? I've been using battery power like these uh, power packs that are this one is a 4000 milliamp power power pack it actually gave at least uh, I'd say at least five or six hours of uh, of receiver with just this little pack which is pretty amazing and you know it's pretty cool because it shows me that I'm gonna be able to easily bring this to uh, Perry Island and do some DXing with it uh, when uh, I start the uh, you know um, the expedition season so it is a shortwave radio. It is around two hundred and fifty dollars, and it performs quite amazingly. And of course, I'll have several videos talking about it. Uh, I want to thank uh, Greg Wasik. I hope I'm uh, uh, pronouncing the name correctly uh, for donating this to me. And of course, I've been really having a lot of fun with this receiver. So uh, basically what happens is that this receiver sends all the information either through USB or Ethernet. Ethernet is even better, like I, I said, because Ethernet often you know, can send even more data. And um, basically you tune around. Uh, selectivity, sensitivity, very, very amazing. Um, it has a tendency to slightly overload if you push it too much. You know, many receivers do. Uh, if you just set it right, it's actually extremely amazing. You know what? I am so amazed at this radio that um, I would say that it is not very far from my ICOM in sensitivity. Um, and I'd say that it actually is so good that what probably pre prevents um, 
or, or I would say what makes me use the SDR or the Ephedri even more than my ICOM is the flexibility in all the controls because if okay if it, it was to par with the same settings the same controls exactly uh, my ICOM has a slight edge on that it, it, it's still a little better but I gotta say that it's so amazing and the flexibility of everything you have is so good that I'm you know really thinking that my ICOM will kind of be more relegated to VHF UHF stuff in the future and that the Ephedri receiver can actually become pretty much my permanent radio the fact that it's also something that you tune around on your own network meaning I don't you know if I want to listen to the ICOM it's kind of complicated I got to disconnect the antenna and you know set it up somewhere it's I'd like to have the capability of that receiver everywhere in my home but it's it's not practical it's not made for that it's a desktop receiver the Fedri is kind of a desktop receiver but because it works over network and is controlled with computers it means every computer I own at home can with the software control it and listen to it that means I can be in any room with a computer and tune around my ephedri and because it has the connection to my sloper antenna in the backyard it performs better than if I would use a portable receiver so you know that's the very positive points you know I understand the fact that I am you know that kind of guy <coughs> sorry that likes radios you know uh, with with knobs and and controls and it's fun but I gotta say this has kind of spoiled me a little bit for radio listening so this is part one and there's gonna be several parts in the next uh, couple of days of this receiver and showing you how it works so the Afedri AFEDRI SDR receiver uh, a uh, 100 kilohertz 35 megahertz receiver and more information coming in, in the next videos you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and hope you enjoy my series of videos on this SDR